This is my best friend Christina. Thank you for joining us. Today's video is all about 15 ways to look slimmer for summer without diet or exercise. So this is a fun video. We've got lots of great tips to share with you guys. Lots of them fashion related, little things that you can do in a pinch to feel and look your absolute best for the summer. So we are not insinuating that you have to look slimmer in order to be beautiful. However, during the summer months, we do wear more revealing clothing. So we just want to share tips with you so that you feel confident and comfortable in the clothes that you're wearing for the summer. So the first tip that we have is all about the shorts. So whether that is a romper, a cotton short, a pair of linen shorts, making sure that the legs are looser around your thigh area. Sometimes when you wear shorts that are very tight and squeezing the thigh, it can give the appearance that the thighs are larger than they really are. This can also apply if you are someone who is an avid denim short wearer like Kelly and I are. We sometimes will actually size up in our denim shorts just to ensure that we have a looser baggier fit around our thighs to make our legs look slimmer and longer. So one of my favorite expressions is if you can't tone it, tan it. So that is why my tip for you guys to look slimmer for summer is self tanner. This is my favorite, very budget friendly one I use all the time. I keep at least two or three cans in my drawer all the time and it is great for when I want to wear little tops like this one or shorts. It's the Sublime Bronze by L'Oreal. It works like a charm. I use it with my little handy um, mitt to keep my palms from turning orange and this really makes so much of a difference. It's almost like the idea of contouring but for your body and it really helps me to look and feel slimmer. Now that you have got this beautiful glowing sun-kissed tan, the next tip that we have is concealing your flaws and highlighting your assets. So if you are someone that feels very confident maybe about your chest area, your shoulder, your neckline, you want to be someone who then maybe wears an off-the-shoulder top or maybe a little bit of ruffling in order to draw the attention to that area where maybe if you have a little bit of insecurity with your legs, you might wear like a longer dress or something to really hide those flaws. And the same can also be in the reverse. So if you are someone who has rockin' legs like Miss Kelly does, then you want to wear a shorter skirt or a shorter dress or even wearing some cute little shorts to really show off those legs and wearing something a little bit more covered up on top. One of our other favorite tips for looking slimmer in summer are wearing off the shoulder tops like the one I have on today. The idea of the off the shoulder top is that it really opens up that upper portion of your body, exposing a very feminine and usually slimmer part of the body in the shoulders and the collarbone area. It's almost like you are highlighting this part of your body and really helps for people who maybe have some upper arm issues, like I know I sometimes struggle with, that little ruffle that kind of hangs over. It's covering up the part that I'm insecure about, exposing the part that I feel more confident about and it actually has a visual little eye trick that it's doing of kind of tapering in the waist and just making you appear slimmer overall. So I'm a huge fan of off the shoulder everything from tops to dresses to bathing suits. In the fall time, we love to wear long cardigans, and during the summertime, we love to wear kimonos. And the reason why is because it creates this optical illusion of really elongating the body. So another great thing about kimonos is they also really help to conceal any sort of trouble areas you may have. That might be a little bit of an arm issue you might have, or even help to conceal some muffin top that you have, or even um, some hip and thigh issues. So a kimono is a great light layering piece that you can wear during the spring and summer months that will just help you to look smaller, slimmer, and longer. So one of the things that I like to do to look slimmer for summer is to pair crop tops with high-waisted jeans. So some of you may hear crop tops and get a little bit nervous envisioning those midriff bearing tops from back in the day. However, that is not what I am talking about. Crop tops now, a lot of these crop tops are actually made to hit you right at the waistline. And when you pair them with a higher rise jean, you are not risking exposing any belly area. Instead, what you are doing is elongating the legs, creating that visually long line in your legs, which automatically will make you look slimmer and leaner and taller 
for the summertime. One of my favorite details that I love to add to spring, summer dresses, and even to bathing suits is ruching. Ruching is a great detail that you can have added into these items to really help to minimize your body, especially if they are on the side of your waist right at your smallest part. It really helps to conceal any of those trouble areas that you have in your tummy, overall making you look smaller and leaner. One of the details you don't want to overlook this summer is to have a proper fitting bra. So during the summer, we're wearing a lot of off the shoulder spaghetti straps, sometimes some racer back or open back style tops. And you really want to make sure that you have the proper bra for these tops. So think about things like support, how much you need in your bra, making sure that everything is lifted to its proper placement and there is no drooping or sagging. Also looking at the side of your bra. Sometimes you can get some overhang under the arms. That's a common problem area for women. You wanna make sure that everything is fitting you exactly as it should. That's really going to be important, especially under these more lighter sheer layers that we tend to wear in summer. So make sure you check out our bra video where Christina and I share our favorites in all the different categories for you. We'll make sure to link that for you below. Our next tip is paying attention to ruffle placement. So ruffles are a beautiful detail that you can add to your clothing. However, you have to be aware that when you wear ruffles, it really does make that area of the body appear larger. So if you are someone that feels insecure about your lower body, really avoid wearing ruffling, maybe at the bottom of the hemline of your dress or skirt. The same can also be true if you are someone that is insecure about your upper body. Maybe you feel you have very wide shoulders and then you would want to avoid any sort of ruffling that's along the neckline that would just make that area appear larger. So one of the things that Christina and I have been loving recently are exposed button jeans. And I think this would also be fantastic in shorts as well for summer. The exposed button detail really helps to create some structure in the front of those jeans and offer some support to that tummy area. And the vertical line of the exposed buttons also creates a slimming effect. So this is just a very pretty detail that can really go a long way. We've definitely heard feedback from all of you when we wear them. You tend to really like those outfits and the exposed button really does make all the difference. So this is definitely something that you should look for this summer if you're looking to look a little thinner for the summertime. Another easy way to look slimmer for the summer is by adding a belt. So this is especially useful if you are wearing a dress that is a little bit flowier and looser and really hiding all of that waist definition that you would normally have if you were wearing a pair of jeans and a tighter fitting top. So by adding a belt, you will draw the attention in the eye line right to that waist area, especially highlighting the smallest part of your torso. This immediately will create that hourglass figure that you are looking for and really helping to elongate your body. So this will come as no surprise to you, but wearing a heel really does elongate the body and make you look slimmer. However, in the summertime, we really don't wanna be wearing a lot of very heavy stiletto type of heels. We want something that is comfortable and appropriate for the season. So we recommend wedges or platforms or even a cute strappy block heeled sandal. These are comfortable, they pair really well with either shorts or beautiful sundresses or midi or maxi skirts and they are just so comfortable and elongating on the legs and will make you feel and look slimmer this summer. Another tip for it looking slimmer is wearing a dress that has an exposed midline zipper. This will immediately draw the eye to the center of your frame, making you appear slimmer. This can also be achieved by wearing a dress that has buttons that run down the center of the dress, or even a dress that has a colored line that runs down the middle of the dress, creating a color blocking effect. Just by having this singular line from your neckline all the way down to the bottom of the hem of the dress really will just help to create a longer and leaner look. So one of the things that I get asked the most about is what is it that I use to create a little bit of shimmer and sheen on my legs? 
So one of my favorite tricks for summer and pretty much all time of year here in South Florida is a bronzing lotion. So this is a little different from a self tanner. It does not actually tan your skin. It is just a body lotion that has some color in it, a little bit of bronziness to it, and you can throw this on right before you go out, right before you put on that dress or those shorts or that off the shoulder top, and it's just going to give you a little bit of glow, a little bit of color, and a little bit of a filtered effect effect on the skin, which is very pretty and also very slimming for summer. And our last and final tip for looking slimmer for summer is by wearing high-waisted bottoms. So this can be anything from a pant, denim jeans, or even shorts. High-rise technically starts at around 9 inches in the rise, and this will just help to elongate your legs. By creating a longer, leaner leg, you really will help create the illusion of giving a slimmer appearance. This is one that Kelly and I use very often, and when we do tend to wear high-rise waisted um, bottoms you guys tend to notice and ask us in the comments down below have you guys lost any weight when really we haven't all we've done is pair our outfit with a high waisted bottom okay so we have shared with you all of our tips that we definitely have used and will be using this summer to look slimmer Please, if you are new to our channel, definitely consider subscribing. We come out with new videos every Sunday and Thursday, so if you are a fashion lover, then definitely hit that subscribe button down below, and we will see you ladies next time. Bye!